सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन मेक दी दैट काइंड ऑफ फॉर्ट यूजिंग दी वॉल फैक्ट्री एड ऑन एंड दैट एड ऑन इज इन बिल्ड एड ऑन ऑफ दी ब्लेंडर एंड हेयर यू कैन सी हाउ इजिली वी कैन मेक दी दैट फॉर्ट विद इन अ टू मिनट यूजिंग दैट एड ऑन एंड हेयर यू कैन सी इट लुकिंग टू मच ऑर्गेनिक एंड आई यूज द टेक्चर ऑल्सो हेयर यू कैन सी and guys you can download that model also free i will put the link in the description you can download from there free and now let's get started tutorial so first i am just going to uh, hide my light for a while and camera as well and i'm going to select everything and going to delete okay then after that uh, so now guys so if i will press shift a so here you can see if i will go to the mesh option so here is the extra and here is a wall factory so guys if you don't see that wall factory so how you can uh, enable that add on so for that you have to go to the edit preference and here you have to search the extra extra object so when you enable that extra object you will able to find that wall factory okay guys so guys i will select shift a and uh, here is a option is extra and here is a wall factory so when i enable that add on so you will find like that okay guys i'm just going to hide this yeah so first of all i will just uh, uh, open that option and here you will able to see the all settings of that uh, wall okay so how you can uh, use these settings so i'm just going to show you so first of all so it is a wall size so first we will decide how much uh, size we need of our wall okay so for example i am just going to uh, increase the size so here you can see that sh size is increasing yeah that is fine i think yeah and after that you can increase also that end one so it will uh, increase from the right hand side like that so this is the start and this is the end and guys if you lost that docker like that so for that you have what you have to do you have to just select your object and here you have to do right click and here is the option is change wall so you will get the all setting again okay guys so now so here you got it that is a start and that is the end okay so now we have a bottom and top so when i will increase the bottom so here you can see that bottom is increasing okay so for example i'll just take the bottom like that and that is a top okay guys and also there is a option is a edging so what is that that edging basically if i will increase that so here you can see it's a changing the the brick size exactly and that edge between the uh, two uh, two bricks okay so second option is that uh, block sizing so what is that so when i click on the merge blocks so it will be merge the block okay and uh, here you can see now it's showing a very straight and very perfect shape and uh, you can increase and decrease the size of width also so here you can see i am going to increase the width so now you can see that that wall uh, that bricks is uh, the block basically the block size is width is increasing so here is the option is variance so if i will increase that so you will get the um, uh, different types of variance okay and that is a minimum so it's basically uh set the top and bottom and it set minimum two in between that and after that that is the height basically you know that if you, i will increase that that block size height will be will be increase and same thing is that and same the minimum also did okay so and this is a depth also we can increase the depth so that basically work like that here you can see and that variation also we work like that that is basically a uh, space between two two blocks okay so now we have a third option is the goat so what is does exactly so i'm just going to show you so here is the option is thickness so when i increase the thickness so here you can see so it's basically do the individual size of each and each blocks and if you guys are doing modeling so you know that here is the option is called individual origin so same thing is work here okay it's take a individual object of individual blocks and then it 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 increasing the thickness exactly so here you can see and sometimes it's it's create a very cool effects okay if you uh, want to do some further editing you can do with that 
okay and same thing it's work it is also it's a uh, okay and now we have a wall shape okay so how we can use the wall shape i will uh, talk about that option later first i'm just uh, cover that other option okay so now i'm talking about that opening option so if i will um, uncheck that so that window it's showing here it going to disappear so what is does exactly when i'm enable that opening so we have a, a window here okay and uh, so we can increase the width of that window like that okay if we need a very perfect shape we can see the we have a very uh, sharp arc here here you can see and if we increase the if you want to increase the height you can increase from the here and that is the indent so it's a basically spacing of the the between the uh, walls okay here you can see when i am uh, increasing that it's it's shifting to x to y y to x here you can see and that is a bottom basically it's going to top and bottom and the main thing is that that is a uh, there is a option is bevel okay and if i will use that bevel so here you can see that bricks is literally beveling here you can see sometimes we need that kind of effect we can use that so now we have a uh, repeat option also here so what it does exactly so when i click on it repeat so here you can see we have a some particular number of that repeat okay and uh, if you uh, want to change the size of each and every so here you can see you can change from here okay guys and you can use that also and if you want to decrease the number of size so you can use the indent basically so when i use the indent here you can see that uh, number of uh, repeating is uh, decreasing and when i decrease that here you can see the number of repeating is increasing so here you can get the uh, whatever number you needed you can just repeat and uh, click on repeat and you just uh, decrease and increase that indent size and you will get the uh, other windows and uh, more windows also okay guys and here is the option is showing is top arc okay guys if you need that top arc you can if you don't want you just uncheck that you will get that boxes okay and sometimes we need it we can use that and if you need it you can just use it and here you can set also the curve how much curve you need it okay so like that i need that curve basically and that is a thickness how much how much thickness you need of, of that curve also so i think that is fine okay guys and here is also bottom arc so sometime we need a bottom arc also so uh, how we can use that i will uh, i will show you uh, later okay so now i'm just going to decrease the thickness yeah and but i'm just going to show you how you can uh, how it's look like when i when we click on it so when i click on it so here you can see we have a also another arc on the bottom side and how we can use that i will show you later okay but first i'm just going to finish the all options then you will get some idea how to you how you can use that uh, add on basically okay so now we have uh, some slots okay so what is does exactly so when i click on it so here you can see you didn't see anything but here if you will see that here we have uh, some arrow size okay and when we uh, when we increase that indent here you can see we have uh, some slot okay and uh, i don't know uh, what is does exactly and i didn't use very much but yeah there is a one option so i i thought i should uh, tell you and we can, you can also use a repeat option and uh, sometimes it's it create a very cool effect okay means if you uh, know that you saw that uh, spocky walls so you can make from that uh, that is a very cool uh, option by the way okay guys and you can uh, also uh, increase that opening and uh, so when you decrease the opening you will get that kind of the walls and when you increase the opening you will get the that kind of walls so sometime it's create a various effects you can use it okay guys so now i'm just going to disable that slot basically and we have another option is screen nails i think i i don't know i, I am telling right pronunciation of that but yeah okay so when i click on it so you will get some that kind of effect okay so when you look the fort okay though there is a um, on the top of the wall you will find some extra 
bricks okay okay so we can also increase the width of these bricks and when i decreases you will see we got a num la more number of bricks and when we increase it we will find a less number of bricks and yeah and that is the height also we can increase the height okay guys and uh, i am just going to keep that like that yeah it's looking good now we have a shelf so what is that exactly so when i click on it yeah so here you can see we have a one shelf here yeah so there is a option is a uh, left bottom and width height and depth also so when i uh, i will uh, use the left and right so here you can see we have a we can move that is left and right like that and that is top to bottom okay and here we can increase the width like that and i will set on that like that now i will increase the width like that so here you can see yeah we have a, a self here and we can increase the height but now i'm going to decrease it this is only one self i need it this is basically depth here you can see it's increasing the size okay guys yeah that is fine so now we can also add the that uh, shelf of back side also here you can see if you want to revert basically you can use it so now okay and now we have a last option is called step okay so, so what is does exactly so when i click on it so here you can see we have a one step means stair basically okay so we can use very nicely that uh, feature so when i click on it left from for example i need that uh, step for that okay so we can increase the height basically here you can see we can increase the width and we can increase the depth so adding depth is very basically good thing we for using okay so there is a riser so what is does exactly so here you can see when i enable it, uh, when i am going to decrease and uh, increase that value these stair is going to up and down okay guys like that and uh, here is a thread what is does i'm just going to show you here you can see we can increase and decrease the number of size of these uh, stairs basically and here is the option is direction step only on back side so these option also work like that if i click on the direction so you can change the direction basically okay this is a step only so you you will find only these step except that that uh, that option that um, extra brick is showing like that okay and this is the same thing back side we use for uh, that shelf so will you will get the back side so you will get the back side okay yeah so now i'm just going to disable that step basically now and uh, that option is finish i hope you understand everything and uh, now i'm just showing you how i make that uh, that fort using the this wall factory so now i'm going to show you so for that i'm just uh, going to increase the wall size basically okay and i'm just going to decrease little bit thickness and uh, i need a more arc decreasing the thickness yeah so i think that is fine for me now okay and we can increase the size basically yeah okay guys so what i will do now so now i have uh, that uh, wall here okay so first i will make that round shape so i'm just going to show you so first of all i see so now i forgot to uh, set that uh, increase that self part so we can increase i will go to the self part and we can increase it very well like that so that is the benefit basically guys and if we forget something and we can get it back again okay so after that i will uh, make make that round so how we can uh, do round so for that i will go to the modify section and uh, here i will add the simple deform so when i enable this simple deform here you can see 
we have a that kind of shape so right now we we are on a twist so I will change twist to bend so when I change the bend so it's bend like uh, x axis so we need a y axis bend like that okay and you can you can see which axis uh, it, it uh, uh, which axis is suitable for you okay guys so y is fine and you can see from here also yeah so right now I'm just going to increase the angle so I'm just going to set the 360 like that so when I set the 360 so we have a perfect circle and we, we have to just increase little bit okay so we can increase from here that limit yeah that is fine so after that you can uh, add one extra modifier it's called array okay and I will change the array 0 to y axis 1 so you can see we have a duplicate here okay and now I'm going to increase it so we have a, a fourth pillar here and uh, now we need a one round uh, round part here also so for that what I will do I will go to again the wall factory and uh, here, is, here we will get the that wall factory so for that I'm just going to hide this right now okay so we have a wall factory here so and after that what I will do I told you I will I will tell you how we can uh, how we can use that uh, wall shape so now I'm going to talk about that uh, radial and curve option so when I click on the radial so we will get that okay all the wall become a radial and sometimes it's good when you uh, if you want to make a uh, floor kind of that looking that kind of floor you can make it's very easily and very complex shape it's making some time okay but uh, when you click on the radial it will uh, become a circle and if you click on the curve so you will able to find that okay guys and now I told you yeah, I will talk about that uh, bottom arc also so when I click on the bottom arc so here you can see we need a arc also from here if we don't uh, we are not seeing that arc here now and if we will not add it's looking odd so for that I will increase the bottom arc so we have arc here we can increase the curve here like that okay and if you want to keep like that this is fine for you and if you want to change so for that you can disable the top arc and you will get this shape like that okay then after that I'm going to unhide that and I'm going to scale it a little bit like that and I'm going to set on the top of that like that okay guys so that is how you can make that fort okay and here you can see uh, one shape is missing here so you have to in, uh, increase that uh, window one more window here then you will get this size uh, then you will get to the uh, another window here also okay so yeah guys here you can see how we can how we can easily make that fort okay and we can also use the bevel to for uh, looking more realistic so I'm just adding the bevel so here you can see I'm just going to add the bevel like that yeah it's looking good now it's looking more organic it's it, it looking more organic shape here okay guys so I hope you learned something in this video and I will also uh, put the link on the description you can download from that project file free you can download and you can use that click on the change wall and you can see the settings basically which setting I use to make that uh, fort thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care stay home